to my channel. I hope this video finds you all very, very well. Today, as requested, I will be showing you guys how to create this makeup look that I have on today. I did post this look not too long ago on my Instagram stories and I did receive a lot of positive feedback. Therefore, here I am today recreating this makeup look for you guys. Now, I do have to say it was a little bit tough trying to like literally do it the same exact way just because it's a very detailed look. But other than that, if you guys are interested in learning or simply watching how I created this makeup look, then just please keep on watching. Okay guys, so I am going to be completing my face first. Therefore, I will be going in with this Touch and Soul Primer. This is their No Pore Blem Primer. I'm going to be adding this all over my skin. I am also going to go very briefly with everything that I'm going to be using as far as the complexion goes, just because I do want to do this very quickly since the eyes are the main focus of this makeup look today. But as you guys see here, I am going to be using this Too Faced Foundation. This is the Perfect Matte peach foundation i believe this is in the shade vanilla moving on to cream contour i'm going to be using this l'oreal true match foundation this used to be my favorite for a really long time i don't know why i ever stopped using it but i decided to bring it back as you guys can see here i did go pretty heavy with it so i had to tone it down a little bit Okay, now moving on to concealer. These are my two favorites at the moment. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Sand and then also the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Lightest to really brighten up the under eye area. Okay, now moving on to powder, I will be going in with the RCMA Translucent Powder, which is one of my all-time favorite powders other than the Laura Mercier, of course. But I will be setting my T-zone area with this really, really good and then going in with a fluffier brush and then set really lightly the outer perimeters of the face. Moving on to bronzer, I will be using my favorite, of course. This is the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. This stuff really just bronzes me up to the gods. I love this so much. It's like the perfect shade for me. Next, for highlight, I will be going in with this palette from Iconic Rose. This is a highlight, blush, and contour palette, which I really love. This highlight in here is super, super pigmented, you guys. Like, I'm not even joking. This stuff is amazing. And lastly, for blush, I will be going in with this Benefit California Blush, which is so beautiful. And I will be also doing my brows and nose contour off camera so you guys can jump right into the eyes. Moving on to the eyes now, of course, this is the look that we are going to be creating today. This is such a gorge, dramatic liner look. This is everything, although it was pretty difficult to achieve. You have to be very detailed, but it's very simple. So I am just going to be taking this shade from the Baked Browns palette from Dose of Colors. I'm just going to literally cover up my crease and entire lid with this shade. And I'm also going to be grabbing a pencil brush and adding the same exact shade down on the lower lash line. Moving on to the next palette, this is the Nude Eyes palette from Profusion. I will be taking these three shimmer shadows, mix them all together and add them to the very center of the lid. This is going to create a halo effect, although we're not really going for that specific look. This is just going to add some dimension once we do add that dramatic liner look. Next, taking a small pencil brush, I will be blending out the inner and outer corner just so everything can appear more seamlessly. And next, taking that same highlighter we used earlier, I will be using this to add to the inner corner just to really open up the eyes. Now, moving on to the star of the show, which is, of course, this graphic liner. I am going to be using this NYX Matte Liquid Liner to create the wing liner that I do all the time. Nothing new here. This is just my normal routine, just creating a wing liner. on to this black eyeshadow from profusion i'm going to be taking this not only to set my eyeliner but also give my liner a little bit more depth and definition i do have a lot more control over black eyeshadows to create eyeliners just because they don't get as crazy as when you do use a gel or a liquid liner it's really easy to guide um, but that is just an extra step that i like doing i like adding both just to really define my eyeliner 
Next, taking a small detailed brush, I am going to start lining the natural crease. I am first going to be using the black eyeshadow to really guide me first before I actually add the liquid liner, which is a lot more dangerous. But I'm going to slowly start dragging that shadow down words into that wing liner and it's just going to create a super upper wing towards the crease and i'm also going to start connecting the wing liner that we created previously and also the wing that's coming downwards towards the crease Moving on, I will be going in with this fine line art pencil from LA Girl Cosmetics. I really love this one because it has a super fine tip of the brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to really darken up the liner with this. Really just give it that dramatic graphic look. Next, taking that same black eyeshadow from earlier, I'm going to start really defining this graphic liner. It's also going to give me, again, more control over the product as to where I really want this black graphic liner to be and look like. And if I need to make a little bit more adjustments somewhere, it's also going to be a little bit more easier for me to do so. Next, taking this black eyeliner from Pixie Cosmetics, I'm going to be adding this to my top and bottom waterline to really make this look even more dramatic. I'm also going to be smudging out the product on the lower lash line to really give it a very smoky cat eye effect. Moving on to lashes, I'm going to be adding a tiny bit of mascara and lashes, of course. Now, I originally had planned to add these lashes that you guys see me here applying, but I did change them last minute to some lashes that I have been wearing for like months and months now. I'm honestly really shocked that they haven't given up on me already. I wish I would have stayed with the original lashes, but I mean, oh well. And finally, for the lips, I'm going to be doing my per usual favorite lip combo. So, of course, I'm going to go in with this NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Coco. Next, I'll be going in with this Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cool Girl. And for the center of my lips, I'll be going in with this Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sand. And last but not least, I'll be going in with gloss, which I'll be using the LA Girl Gloss Topper in Clearly Clear. And that completes this look. All right, guys, so that completes today's makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are interested in any of the products mentioned throughout this entire video, I will be listing everything down below in the description box as well as my social media. That way you guys know what I do when I'm not on YouTube. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye, guys.